it tomorrow morning to you. It's a good morning. Look at the sunshine outside. Look at that. Where is it? There it is. Sunshine. What a good day. It's always good to wake up to sunshine. Oh, I hope the sun was shining on you this morning. That sounded weird. I hope the sunshine was shining where you are today. Whatever, you know what I mean. Hope it's a good day for you. Every day's a good day. You just gotta make it a good day. You gotta wake up here and say to yourself, oh, wake up to yourself. I'm still waking up myself. This is getting confusing. You just gotta wake up and say to yourself, it's gonna be a good day. And you gotta make it a good day. Just saying it's gonna be a good day is not gonna make it a good day. Then you actually gotta act on it and make it a good day. Even if it starts off bad. It's always the toughest when it starts off bad. You can start off on a bad note. Drumpy all day. I have those days. Hey, Diesel. Yeah, what are you talking about? Man, you have them every day. I don't have them every day. Anyways. Oh, let's get going. We have our trailer behind us. We're hooked up. We're ready to go. Our first drop is in Hamilton, Ontario. I think we've got two or three in London, Ontario. Then we've got Mississauga, Ontario. And Scarborough, Ontario. And Ottawa, Ontario. The nation's capital. And then we end off in Laval, Quebec. Which is a suburb of Montreal in my mind. I don't know if it's its own separate city or not. But it's right there. It's right beside Mon There's Montreal. There's Laval. Same place. It's all in Quebec. So... We better get going. Let's hit the road right now. Right now. 1.2 kilometers. Keep left on US 70. All right, let's get out of town. Let's skedaddle. Red diesel. Let's skedaddle. We are headed up to Ontario now. We've got three drops in London, Ontario. Then we're headed to Hamilton. Hopefully get that all done on Monday. And it's only going to take us just over a day to get there. So we're going to be sitting most of tomorrow and all of Sunday. Just hanging out. Not sure where yet. Straight. It's not really keeping left. It's more not keeping right. See what I mean? <laughs> anyway, day has just begun. We've got a long day ahead of us. Oh, we can make it short if we want to, really. You don't really have to go that far. Drive 45 kilometers on US 70. Man, you're yappy in the morning, Mandy. Calm down. Calm down. So yeah, we gotta find the first pilot, the Flying J, we can find and uh, send in all the paperwork for the border so that they can get that ready for us so that when we get there, they're not surprised to see us. That always makes it a lot smoother when they're expecting us. And yeah. Another day, another penny. Right, dude? So, 
looks like we'll be going up probably through uh, Detroit, Windsor. Probably gonna cross there. It's the, the bigger crossing. I don't like crossing there all the time, but it's just too far to go around to go through Sarnia. We'll worry about that tomorrow. We're probably gonna cross into Canada tomorrow. That's crazy. We get there so quickly. It's so much quicker to get there than to BC. <laughs> Obviously. It's one thing I never get tired of though. Driving. There's nothing that beats it. It's relaxing. I get to listen to music all day. Take exit 150 on right towards Hall River, then turn right. Alright, you heard the woman. We're just getting to the first flying J, which is in the Haw River, North Carolina. Kind of figured this Schneider guy was going to be coming in here as well because he's been slowing down for the past three miles. Thought about going around him, but I wanted to turn too, right? Turn right on Jimmy Kerr Road. I really don't understand why some people have to slow down like three miles in advance to 40 miles an hour. Yeah, everyone's got different driving styles, I guess. What do you think, Diesel? I've been to this Flying J many times before. They also got a blue beacon across the street, so as long as the lineups aren't too bad, we're going to get a truck wash right, today. Flying J. All right. Hey, thank you, man. But it's not on the right, it's on the left, man. Got your directions mixed up again. Right there on the right, you'll see that blue building. That's uh, where we're gonna get the truck washed. Hopefully, it's not too long of a lineup. We got time, so we might as well, right? The truck really needs a wash. Let's hope it doesn't rain now. We're not gonna fuel up. Tons of parking here. What are you doing, Schneider? You're gonna run the curb. Oh man. It's like the third strange move I've made him seen him make in the last 10 minutes. Before I turn on the camera too, he's just doing strange maneuvers on the road. Like, whatever. I don't have to understand everything, I guess. So see what I mean? There is tons of parking here. Tons. Like, there's a whole lot back here. I remember last year I stopped here. I was going for a run in the back here and whatnot. Oh, someone's practicing their parking back here. I'm gonna go watch them. Practicing parking in the truck stop. Interesting. Oh, he's gonna hit the cone, he's gonna hit the cone, he's gonna hit the cone, oh, he hit the cone. Oh, oh you hit the cone, driver. You hit the cone.
What do you think, Diesel? What do you think of that? I think you could have done better, man. I think you could have done better. I have to agree with the dog. I could have done better than that. Uh, that, in my own personal opinion, on my personal standards that I set on myself, is a failure. Uh, but the point is, I got into my spot without hitting anybody, and I got in here straight between the lines, so that's all that matters, right? But, for me, backing up is my thing. It's what I do. I like to do it, and I like to do it perfect, and I like to do it right. For me, a perfect parking would be pulling forward, getting into my spot, or lining up for the spot, and just zzz, backing right in. One fluid motion, zzz, that's perfect. Stopping maybe once to make sure you're not gonna hit the truck on the other side, right? But for me, today, there was no truck on the other side, so it was, I picked a pretty easy spot, and the fact that I took, like, I had to pull forward twice, to me, that was a failure to me. Uh, so I backed up. My first mistake, as you saw, was I cut my trailer in too close to the guy behind me here. And, or beside me here. And if I would have kept going, I would have hit his fender, right? So obviously I'm going to stop. And I pulled forward and aimed my trailer to go a little further around him. Second mistake was when I got into my spot, I was in my spot, but I wasn't centered. That bugs me. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to parking. You guys probably know this already. Um, I was too close to this side, again, too close to the truck beside me, so I had cut in again too close. I mean, I was still in the lines, it was just wasn't even, even, you know? So I pulled forward again and got straight in uh, evenly between the lines. And that to me is a good parking job, straight between the lines, not hanging your trailer over into another parking spot. For me, I, I backed up against the grass right now, so my trailer's hanging over onto the grass, but that's okay. If you are on, like, like those trucks over there, once it focuses. You see those trucks there, they have parking spots behind them. If you do a pull through parking, and you pull through into your spot, for me, it's a failure if your whole truck is not in your spot. If you are hanging over into the spot behind you, that would be a fail to me, if for my own personal standards. Uh, because the driver who comes in at night and needs to park there, needs that extra space for his trailer, right? Because when I park, I'm not the only truck driver out here. There's a lot of truck drivers here and we all need a place to park at night. So we all got to make sure we're only taking up our parking spot. You know what I mean? So this has turned into a little parking lesson with Chucka Josh. Uh, again, I don't claim to know everything. These are my own personal standards that I set on myself. I'm not saying that it's law to not take up two spots. It's, you know, common courtesy not to take up two spots in my opinion, but yeah, so I think I could have done better. Next time we'll try to do it better, uh, especially when it's so easy when I have no truck on the other side of me. I, I should just be able to back in in one fluid motion, be straight, even between the lines. But, you know, perfection doesn't happen every time. The point is I got in without hitting anybody and I'm now centered in my spot. Diesel, break time, man. Doesn't that make me go outside? Yes, it does. Let's walk the weasel. So yeah, I think I've stopped here once before. It's just this huge, massive thing. I'm gonna try to go inside yet with the camera and show you guys around the inside a little bit, maybe. Because I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. I don't know. It reminds me a lot of the rest areas in Ontario. Just bigger. <laughs> There's like everything in here. They got diesel pumps here, like a ton of them, and gas pumps. I guess they have that in Canada too, but I mean, this is just on a larger scale. Obviously, they have a lot more traffic going through here. 
diesels around here somewhere. I don't know if you can see them there or not, but I'm trying to find a spot to give Mother Nature a present. He loves giving her presents. It's a good boy. Good spirit to be in. In the spirit of giving. Absolutely. We give back to the earth. Okay, I'm all over this little like ledge. Like, deal, come on. Good boy. Oh, time to go back to the truck. It's raining out and I don't want to get my camera any more wet than it already is. inside there uh, I think it turned out pretty good <laughs> that bear almost scared me when I walked in I didn't notice it walked right on oh there's a bear there <laughs> diesel you would have loved him you would have loved it but we need to keep going we're only like halfway done our day uh, we can go another five hours if we want to we probably won't but I feel like going a little further yet so why don't we go a little further yet that's what you do when you want to go further and the law says hey if you want you can go further you go further. Let's do it. Getting a little chilly up here already. We're here at a rest area in or near, we're in West Virginia. I don't know exactly where, but we're gonna fall asleep to that beautiful sound behind me. I just love the sound of the highway. I don't know what it does to me. It's just, it's like a lullaby. You know, are any of you like that? It's like a lullaby, just love that until they start honking that annoys me I don't like honking that's not part of the natural lullaby that is not in the script but that right there he must have had some special tires he was not humming properly he was not singing the right tune anyone else anyone else well here comes the guy over there maybe he's singing a little better I don't know what's wrong with that other guy. He must have like special anti-hum tires. Who would want anti-hum tires? I love that hum. Okay, let's listen to that guy. So it's sort of the same. Maybe it's the road. Maybe the road is like anti-noise or something. Maybe they make it out of some kind of stuff to like limit the noise. Why would you want to do that? Designated pet area. What do you know? They designated an area just for me. Easel. Look at this spooky bush down there. I sort of want to go explore it. But I don't know what's in there. Does Bigfoot live in these bushes? No, Bigfoot's from out west, right? I wonder. Crazy moose in there? No, moose are up north. Should be safe in there. No, no, I bet you they got big giant spiders in there. I'm not going in there. You kidding me? You might say I have arachnophobia. I don't like spiders. I will avoid places that might have spiders. There's a pretty good chance there's spiders in there in the dark. Yeah, we're just gonna go this way. Away from the spiders. All right, Diesel. Curtains are drawn. Computer is out. Cameras are ready. And we just gotta finish this clip and we are ready to upload. Well, not upload. We're not gonna be uploading anything tonight because I'm at a rest area and they have no internet here so I'm not gonna upload anything. But 
we are ready to put this all together into a video and we'll upload it tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to be staying at the Flying J in Fort Erie, Ontario, just over the border from Buffalo. I know I said we're going through Detroit. I know I said that. I changed my mind. I'm going through Buffalo now. Through Buffalo, New York into Fort Erie, Ontario. That's close to Niagara Falls. Hey, it's close to Niagara Falls. Interesting. Anyways, guys, we'll see you tomorrow at 4 a.m. Central Time. Thanks for watching my video today. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, share it with your friends. I'll see you tomorrow at 4 a.m. Central Time.